Hi, we are the Cryptic Cookies Bits and Bots. The purpose of this webinar is to tell you some of the things we have learned over the years about preparing for the judging session. We are four eighth graders from Seattle, Washington. This year is our fifth and final year of FLL. We are honored to have participated in VOI twice. Our favorite core value is having fun. In this webinar, we will cover how to present to the judges, Q&A tips and tricks, tips for presenting over Zoom, and remember to always have fun. Here's a skit on what not to do during a judging session. Hi, you're the Cryptic Cookies, right? Yes. Tell me what your favorite thing is that you did this summer. I went on a trip and it was cool and there was really good food and I had so much fun. And then we did our FLL competition and I saw lots of bison and then we saw geysers and they exploded and then we were in the desert and it was really, really hot. And then there was like snakes and I was scared. No! And then it was... <laughs> when you present to the judges, it is important to be calm and confident. Remember, you know the material better than anyone else. The judges are volunteers who like kids and want to see you succeed. They want to hear about what you have learned, so be proud of everything you have done over the season and be happy to share all of it with the judges. It is also important to have good presentation skills. Remember to smile, make eye contact, have good posture, and don't slouch. Also, speak up, because when I first joined FLL, I was pretty shy and spoke very quietly during the presentations. My coach kept asking me to speak up, and truthfully, I thought I was, but then she recorded me and I realized that I was hard to hear and understand. After that, as a joke, I started speaking like Dora the Explorer. Even though I initially did it as a joke, we realized that it actually made me much easier to hear and understand. So now we remind each other to speak like her before our presentations. Here are some videos explaining what I mean. Tell me how long you've been doing FLL. I've been doing FLL for about three years. I started in sixth grade. Uh, yeah. Tell me. Tell me how long you've been doing FLL. I started FLL three years ago in sixth grade. This is my th last and final year, and I love the fun times I've had. It is very important to always be respectful to your teammates and judges. Don't forget that they are volunteering their time and you should thank them for doing so. Your facial expressions during judging are also very important. While it is understandable that you may be nervous, you should still remember to smile because it shows the judges you are engaged and may help you relax. Don't be a frowny face. Now, we will go over some specific Q&A tips and tricks that we have learned over the years. When you're answering questions, you should bridge. Bridging is all about working in topics that you want the judges to know about, regardless of what question is asked. Always answer the question asked, but don't be shy to bring up new information as well. Also, don't be afraid to add on or elaborate on what your teammates said. Here is an example of us bridging. Hi, we're the Cryptic Cookies Bits and Bots. Hi, can you tell me what you did this summer? Sure, I went to Yellowstone and Moab and got to experience nature in all parts of the United States. I went on a backpacking trip with my friends. We're hoping to go on a backpacking trip as a team sometime this year. Yeah, we'll connect it to FLL and improve our core values. It is helpful to think ahead of time about potential questions the judges might ask and to decide how you will answer those questions. We suggest doing practice judging sessions in which you have an adult ask questions and you practice answering them. It is helpful to record the practice session so you can see how you come across and look for ways to improve. You might wanna practice sharing your presentations with other teams. It is a fun and great way to learn from each other. This is very important. One of your, when one of your teammates looks at you and indicates that you should answer the question, answer it. Don't keep deferring to each other because then it can get awkward. It is also important to elaborate on your answers to the judge's questions. Here's an example of too short of an answer. 
and following it is an example of a good length answer. Hi, tell me what your favorite core value is. Having fun is my favorite core value. Hi, tell me, tell me what your favorite core value is. I love all of the core values, but having fun is probably my favorite because I've spent the last five years on a team with some of my best friends and I've grown to really enjoy hanging out with them and sometimes being silly while solving challenging problems. Now we'll talk about some things that we have learned over the years that are related specifically to presenting over Zoom. Remember to look at the screen, eliminate background noise, have a good microphone, be sitting at a desk or table, have a chair that doesn't squeak or move, name yourself correctly, have links to resources ready to send in chat, assign a team member to share screen and make sure they have everything pulled up ahead of time, center yourself on camera, have your camera on, join on time, and have good lighting. It is a very good idea to test all of this before you join in a different Zoom meeting. Here is an example of bad lighting. This is bad lighting because she is backlit and you can't see her face. This is an example of good lighting. She is still in the same room, but she has moved to make it so her background is neutral and so you can see her face. But the most important piece of evidence that we can share with you is to always have fun. Yes, if you're having fun, there's a good chance the judges are having fun too. And in the end, FLL is all about learning and having fun. It's important to not take yourself too seriously. The judging session should be a fun opportunity to share what you've been learned over the season with some adults. Remember, it's okay to be nervous. We are all nervous. Even the judges are probably nervous too. Thank you for watching our webinar. We hope you found it informative and helpful. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions, or just want to meet. We love meeting teams from all over the world. Bye!